as a newcomer in Canada, there are some simple things that you need to do that are yet important to help set you up and prepare you for financial success in Canada. So what are those simple things or how do you prepare for financial success in Canada? Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wiz Queen. On this channel, I share information on finance and lifestyle. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing below and turn post notification bell on. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know the vibes, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to share with your friends as well. So as you can see from the title today, I'll be sharing with you those things that you need to do to help you prepare for financial success and how you can set up your finances in Canada. So the first thing you need to do when you move to Canada is to get your social insurance number. Your SIM number would be a nine digit number that will be allocated to you on individual basis. It will be unique. Not everybody would have the same SIM number. And with this number, you would be allowed to work in Canada. You would also be allowed to access government benefits and programs in Canada. In order to register or apply for your social insurance number, you would have to go to Service Canada. You can apply online, which would take few weeks. You can also go in person, which would take just few minutes so um, you can always call Service Canada on the phone in the closest one to your location just check on Google map and see the closest one to you get the phone number and give them a call to book an appointment or ask them if you need to reserve a time the second thing you need to do which is yet simple but most people don't know when is the right time to do it it's right away within the first few weeks of when you arrive in Canada you need to open a bank account before you can open a bank account in Canada you would require a SIN and for you to get a SIN refer to point one so once you have your SIN the next thing would be for you to open a bank account you should be considering opening a checking account and or a saving account a checking account is required but a saving account is optional but I do highly recommend that you have a saving account I've made a video on no fee banking in Canada I'll link it up here and you can also check in the description box you can consider opening a bank account with any of the no fee banks or you can also consider any of the five top banks in Canada to open a checking account just make sure you're getting the best services at minimal or no cost because you can actually open bank accounts for free but most banks or the top banks in Canada would actually charge you probably five to ten dollars to own a checking account if you are eligible for free accounts then you should also consider that and the reason I recommend you have a saving account is because some funds you might not have to use them soon instead of just leaving them sitting in your checking account doing nothing you can put them in a high interest savings account when you utilize the high interest savings account you'll be earning interest on your savings in the account rather than just putting it in a checking account that you'll be paying fees on monthly basis so I highly recommend you also open a savings account the next thing would be to apply for a credit card now you have your seed you also have a bank account the next thing would be for you to apply for a credit card I know some people would say because they are not used to the credit system they do not want to open a credit card account or they don't want to get into debt so they would avoid opening a credit card account you are wrong my dear the information you've heard about credit card might be true but there are a lot of misconceptions surrounding credit card you do need to have a credit card to build a credit report and one of the reasons why i recommend opening a credit card account right away when you arrive in canada is because once you come as a newcomer you probably do not already have a credit score you don't have a job and once you're opening your bank account these are some of the things that the banks will consider they will ask you do you have a job do you have uh, maybe if you're coming in as a student they'll ask you for your enrollment letter if you're coming as a permanent resident they'll ask you for your um work document or your maybe like your copr or your pr card something like that just to prove that you are eligible to work and you reside in canada um if you are a newcomer in canada they would not really place so much emphasis on your income or your stability in canada so that is why you should take advantage of that point in time they will do a credit check because it's just regular standard processes but you don't have a credit score so you are not going to be affected also if you do not have a job that's okay they will still give you a credit card most people are going to easily access at least a thousand dollars to a thousand five hundred dollars in credit card so i would recommend once you come in just take advantage of you as a newcomer getting easy access to credit 
card the problem with that is if you don't apply for the credit card right away when you come maybe in the next three months when you have opened the bank account and you have started to establish banking relationship with the bank when you now call in to ask for applying for a credit card they might start to ask you for things like your employment history if you have a job offer your pay stub if you are now full-time on that job or if you are permanent or they would also ask you questions like if you are still on probation basis so all of these things you could have avoided from the onset if you applied right away so I highly recommend that once you come even if you don't use the credit card right away once you open your bank account just open a credit card account as well the next thing for you to do is to open your CRA account what you could do is you can go online on CRA website to sign up and create an account you would be required to file zero taxes for the prior year in order for you to you know start filing taxes for the coming year or access any government benefit they just need your record from prior year where you fill in how much income you made the previous year and all that but if you didn't make income in Canada you can just file zero taxes if you feel like this might sound a bit complex for you you can easily just go to an accountant that will charge you just a couple of dollars to help you set this up but it's very easy and straightforward you can use tax filing tools or websites like Tobo tax or simple tax to file zero taxes for the previous year now the benefit to opening a CRA account especially as a family person is you can apply for child care benefits online for your kids you can apply for like you know reimbursement for like um, child care fees um, daycare fees and all of that benefit there are some benefits that people easily easily just get online like recently we just got paid the climate action incentive so if you did not have like a CR in my account where you had registered and put up your banking details and all that there you would have missed out on such benefits so now that you have set up your CR account you have done most of the things you need to do to set up your finances in Canada the next thing you would need to do is to start understanding the credit system and the banking system in Canada there are chances that you have come or you are coming from a country where there is no credit system in place or the banking system is totally different from what is in Canada so I recommend that you take some time to educate yourself you learn about how the credit card system works when do you need to pay your credit card what is credit score I do have a lot of videos talking about how to calculate your credit score calculate your um, the best time to pay your credit cards I have a lot of videos on that I would leave it in the description and I'll also link the best one here. Just learn how to use the credit card and know the difference between credit card and debit card. At what point should you pay with cash? When should you actually pay with your credit card? And I highly recommend you use your credit card because some people, when they get their credit card, they just keep it in their wallets because they are scared of getting into debt or they are afraid of not uh, being able to pay what i do tell people is see the credit card as a means of payment so if you are paying for something you already have that money right so if you see the credit card as a means of payment you would not use it as a loan system because it is not a loan it's just a means of payment so use it for payment and pay off your credit card in full once you develop that method and strategy of always paying your credit card in full and only using it as a means of payment you would not miss out any payment and you would always remember that it's not a loan so this is also something you need to do once you come to canada understand the credit card system and try to start building your credit report the last and final item i have on my list is to educate yourself on financial literacy it's very important you are in a new country you don't want to get into debt because debt is the way of life here but you want to be very very careful about this so start to learn about saving money learn how to budget your expenses and your spending plan your costs learn all of this thing learn about investments in canada we have different investment accounts like the rsp which is retirement savings account we also have tfsa which is a tax-free savings account we also have resp which is the registered education savings plan all of these investment accounts would allow you to take advantage of investment opportunities in canada and minimize your tax implications so learn how this account works i do have different videos that could educate you on that and how to use them 
get into investment and make sure you're managing your funds appropriately because chances are that you just came to Canada maybe you don't have a job yet or even if you have your job you are probably not in a high paying job yet and you want to make sure you're intentional about your finances because the worst thing you can do for yourself in Canada is to just get your finances wrong from the jump once you do that just know that it's messed up for you it's going to take years for you to correct that steps so learn about that also learn and understand taxation system here because where you are coming from chances are that you don't file taxes on annual basis but when you get to Canada this is something that will be probably new to you you would have to file taxes every single year for the income you've earned in the prior year and this is something you might be new to so you have to also understand how to file taxes you might consider using an accountant to help you file your taxes you can also file your taxes on your own i do have videos on that that you will find very very beneficial will teach you about the tax system will also teach you about calculating your taxes how much you could earn after your taxes so most times when your gross salary is about maybe fifty thousand dollars a year obviously your income or your take-home pay at the end of the year would not be the whole fifty thousand dollars there would have been taxes taken out of it like federal taxes provincial taxes and all of that so you also need to learn how the tax system works here know the kind of benefit that you can easily access and take advantage of all of those benefits because truth be told you have paid for those benefits in some kind of way these are some of the things that you need to do to set up yourself for financial success in Canada and not only for financial success but to also help you start building and generating wealth in Canada because any wrong move honestly speaking might not be good for your future so I highly recommend you do these things and research on more things that you can do that would help set you up financially if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up if you know any newcomer that is coming to Canada very soon or in the next few weeks or month send them this video so they can know what to do and prepare themselves financially thank you very much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it again and I'll see you in my next video bye for now